Oh, it's back with teaser back another video and today we have a special reaction on the channel and i'm gonna start doing some college football content start reacting to some college football start talking about college football because i love college football and i'm gonna send a lot of y'all do too well a lot, of people, a lot of people love college football but i figure this would be the great the best game to start off on because this game is with a shadow of a doubt game of the year nominee the atmosphere the hype around this match for the last week lived up to the hype. Was a Heisman candidate showdown between two great quarterbacks. And the game as a whole, it was back and forth. It was a shootout. And if you don't, well, people, I think Justin, this is right after. Everyone knows what happened right after. Tennessee, I was sleeping on Tennessee. I'm not going to hold y'all. I didn't expect Tennessee to be that, to be this nice. It didn't take me to watch it in this game, so I was like, Tennessee's dangerous. Y'all gonna see why. And Bama, the thing is about Bama, about after this game, if they're still ranked, which they're gonna be still ranked in the top six. Top six, top ten. Because the committee loves Bama so much that they're not gonna really demote them as much, and they're gonna still keep them in a college football picture. But, I would say this. I would love to see this Tennessee offense go up against that Georgia defense. That will be a very fun showdown, and that's going to determine the SEC East. If I think those two, yeah, they do face off each other yearly. So I think that game will determine who will, who will go on to be in the SEC championship game. And most likely, Bama's going to be waiting, depending on what happens. Because after this, you might not know, Bama mess around and lose the next, might lose two games. No, you might not know. But, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. And also, this game is a prime example of why college football is better than the NFL. This is why. This is why. Watch, I watched this game from start to finish, y'all. Lift up to the hype, bro. Both teams came in undefeated. Tennessee was on fire. And Tennessee, Tennessee came out Bryce Young the entire game. The entire game that came out Bryce Young, bro. That and offense, like they in Tennessee, they they were really they were really determined, really determined to win this game. This feat. So, I can tell you this. Can we say Michael Vick changed the game? Because there's a lot of scrambling quarterbacks now. And this Tennessee offense, like, they were, they scored fast. It was fast paced and they got six, bro. No, I don't see anything yet, Gary, to overturn. I'm watching. This is our angle here. Clearly, and, and also, by the way, I feel like Bama should have lost to Texas. Had it not Bama took out their quarterback, I th Texas should have won that game. They were close to winning that game, but the end, they did do bad. They did let up a good pass, a bad pass down the field. That, that ended up costing them the game, but other than that, I feel like te Texas almost had that, bro. I feel like if they had a starting quarterback, they probably would have won that. There with the ground, and then you see a reach with the ball. But what we don't know is if that ball broke the plane or that goal line prior to that uh, that knee landing. And so far, I don't see a look yet to overturn this. Young again pressured. Mm. This one complete to Brooks. And also, comment down below where I think Bryce Young going to go. Because Bryce Young going to be in the draft class this year. I don't know where he going to go. Depending on who's going to pick him up. Because he better have protection. Died. It was so calm. Touchdown. make a mistake they do not throw the ball a lot over the middle of the field and that's usually when those mistakes happen there's a mm, slant it's complete that's a first down Ramel Keaton comes in at 70 percent 
First down. It's been my defense like they were shook. Wide open. Mm. That boy just that boy killed them all. Watch number eleven, bro. Keep your eyes on number eleven, bro. That turned out to be a twenty yard penalty to delay a game. Got rid of it in a hurry. Short kick though. Really short. Just gonna roll around the thirty five yard line. So think about that. The ball was nearly out to the twenty. Teams here in the first quarter. Blitz coming. Hooker mm. in the middle. On the run. Ronell Keaton. Third down and two. Pump face one way, comes back the other. Well, again, watch for number eleven. Keep on stick yo, watch out. Keep on looking at number eleven, bro. Cause he destroyed Ben Moore all game like it was nothing. Turn it to Randy Moss. I'm not kidding. Young completes it to lot two the tight end. He's got a first down. But Bama, of course, they think Bama's still gonna show a fight though. Of course Alabama's still gonna show some fight. Well that's when you talk to the Alabama staff. Tom catches it right behind the blitz. Here he is on the ground and Jameer Gibbs down inside the 10. Very tight game. Very close game. Bryce Young looking left. Had to get rid of it. Knocked down. Near the goal line. Somebody got a hand on it. The tips. I like taking the points here. Three points. 11. It's up and good. Successful drive. They drove, what, 70-some yards? Yeah. Ah. Kool-Aid McKinstry. Way back on the other end. I'm going to lie. Our point formations are so weird now. Wobbler off the side of his foot. Takes a big hop. McKinstry faked like he was going to take the Lost. ball. Lost. Now the ball is loose. Tennessee says. Simple mistakes. Simple mistakes. I guess it did. <laughs> Nick Saban was mad. <laughs> I bet you Saban's having them run laps for that. Especially 34. He's going to have them run laps on practice for that. Chasing that A and want to save time? Grammarly makes editing one click simpler. We Wide open. Like this offense is fast pace. Fast pace until the point. And it's the fullback fan. Got it. This is a very Tennessee has a very fast paced offense. I'm saying them versus George is gonna be a good game. It already Bama was in unusual position, allowed 28 points in the just a second second quarter alone with 10:30 left. Very intense game, man. One thing about Bryce Young I like is like very like Bryce Young like around like out of all the quarterbacks currently is CJ Stroud and Bryce Young. Those are two of the best quarterbacks in college football. And then Tennessee's Hooker, he one of the best. He's one of the best too. I didn't even because people were talking about him, and I'm like, okay, quarterback on Tennessee. Let's tell you, watch this game. And Bryce Young's releases this. Smart Bryce Young's a smart quarterback. Throws it on the money. Patient, calm. Can move with his feet. Again, like I said, Bama always gonna show a fight, bro. That's one thing we gotta get Bama props for, bro. They're always gonna show some fight. Yeah, overthrew him, damn. He would have caught that. It would have been a. That actually probably would have been a game. It would have been a game changer for sure. Mm. 
And his defense. Defense shot their best too. They came at they came at Bryce. Young completes it to Latu on the run. And Latu's got it down to the 22 yard line. See Bryce is see how calm Bryce is? Nothing. Record to try to make it a one score game. Three point game. Fourth and two. Oh, mm. Warren, Alabama swarms defensively and brings him down, and they'll take over on downs. Let's see this. Now I kind of did miss out on the third quarter a little bit. I missed out on the third quarter. Super. Taking a thirteen. Catch. Tough catch. Rips it out of the defender's hands. Receiver a chance on the 50-50 ball and Burton makes it. 36 yard pass. And off. Back to Jameer Gibbs. Gibbs puts his touchdown. Goodbye. Jameer Gibbs touchdown Alabama. 26 yard touchdown run. Two. Down the middle it's mm. And one thing Alec Olish said to us, I can't give up too fast on the run. Otherwise, these big passes. The what did I say, bro? Number 11, bro. He was just cooking them. He turned it to Randy Moss, bro. I shit you not. Oh, wow. They continue. Slant completes and a first down. That quiets everybody as Kobe Prentice. No mm. in the way. Young side arms it out again to Prentice. Prentice got to the edge. Got ah. about nine before he steps out of bounds. Back and forth. See how back and forth this game is, man. As jobs. Looking left. His feet. But they were they were chasing Bryce the entire game. You know what this makes me really excited and hyped for? If you guys don't know already, Cos Football, the video game, is making a return next summer. And to the people who are not really catching, well, who loves playing college football, it's going to be a PS5 Xbox Series X exclusive. So you have to have a next gen console to get it. So by then. I should. We ha I should have a PS5. Definitely streaming that and definitely doing multiple series on that. Just that right now, kind of calm. Wait until the next college football game. Then, because I feel like because the next college football, if EA does it right, if they just keep what they did in 14 and they put it and they just upgrade it a little bit to the, for the PS5, beautiful game. Immaculate game. 10 out of 10, no misses. Dynasty mode better be left alone. World of Glory better be left alone. Just add transfer protocol. The fact that they also gave us the ability to change the um the fuck the playoffs. The playoff bracket, we get to do that. NIL deals, transfer portals. They 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 really go in, in detail with it. And you have some of the guys who do college football revamp. If you guys don't you never heard of college football revamp, I advise you to look that up. It's basically NCAA football 14, but revamped. But to modern, so that a lot of people spend their time working on that. So that's why I'm, I'm just patiently waiting to the next college football game. So that way, when that comes out, definitely do a multiple series on that. And my concern is, is creative school going to be on it? Because that's all I do in college football. All I do is create a school. I build a school from the ground up, make them national champions, build a dynasty with them, and keep them going for multiple years. And with, with college football. When when the console game comes out, y'all gonna really see what I can really do with sports gaming series, bro. Y'all are really gonna see what I can do because now I'm just limited right now. Really? So wait till that game comes out. His shoulder. Nope. Get ready to use it again. Good throw. Oh my good throw. Couldn't quite stay in bounds, but a great catch over there by the tight end, and he's had a big day. 
I'm just saying. And the college football drops. Be ready for a lot of college football videos of that game drop, bro. Clock winding down again. Clout, crowds loud. Just got that one away. Bryce Young, delayed blitz. Got away from the yeah, they was coming after him the entire game, bro. But look how he's just. Mmm, almost picked off. Pia. But just look how. This is like. This is part of the reason why I like Bryce Young, bro. This is part of the reason why I like him. Just got that one away. Under pressure. Four guys blitzing. Stops. Dodges two. Throw and still manages to get the pass off. Andrew pass interference. We might have pass interference on Tennessee. My goodness. Bryce Young got heart. Pass interference. Defense number 28. Bryce Young got heart. Josh Heupel can't believe it. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Did they who pulled who down on that play? Whew. Yep. Now it looked like they stumbled and fell. Yeah, they stumbled and fell both of them. From both directions. I, I, I thought Brooks pulled down the Tennessee defender on that play. Houston goal. Gibbs is ah touchdown. Overthrew him. Ah, his first pick. Thirty-five, thirty-four. <laughs> Walks in. Count how many touchdowns? Seventy-eight yards. Four. Four. I have never seen one receiver had four plus touchdowns against Alabama before. Comment down below if I'm wrong, but the Nick Saban here or nah? This is on the 10. Got my favorite number 21. Mm, wide open. Jojo Earl down the sideline. How did he see him? Open goal. Drops. Young will run for it again. No, the short smart. He's got his smart move. Unbelievable. The boxing match for who's gonna get the last punch. <laughs> Fumble. There is a scoop and score from Dallas Turner. Touchdown, Alabama. That stunned the arena. He feels Hooker has it. He's running out his fake, even though it's a fumble. Miscommunication. Ten yard fumble return for a touchdown. Yeah. Right. The run. Into the secondary. And hold it out of the ball or try to rip it out of him. Four minutes. And they trail by a touchdown. Hendon Hooker in trouble. Being chased. Throws. And in the end zone. Mm. zone. Kool-Aid McKinstry down the sideline. He might take this thing all the way. Was that a bounce? But that was P.I. Yeah, P.I. That's P.I. During the return, there's no foul for a blindside block. Pass interference. Defense. Scored right back. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jalen Wright. Hyatt. Rather, his fifth of the day. Two minutes. Young throws it complete to Gibbs. He's got the first down. Here comes a blitz. Young 
Now to 50. Drops. Young over the middle and got it complete. And it's a first down on the throw to Jacory Brooks. 38 seconds. Now 25. Third and 10. Young. Quick on the back pedal. Quick on the throw. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for Burton and he's looking for a flag and doesn't get one. This All right. 21 seconds. 21 seconds left. 50 yards. Wow. They've got two timeouts left. 15 seconds. Looking to throw. Scanning things. To the 50. With two timeouts left? No seconds, but you're getting first down. Doesn't. What a throw. What a throw. What a catch. Forty yards. Paxton Brooks to hold. Chase McGrath for the win for the Volunteers. Snap, hold, got it. He got it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is college football. Yep, that is college football for you. That is college football for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's the funny thing that happened after this. The fans took it upon themselves to take the goalpost that was in the arena. So, we're going to see where the goalpost ended up. Because it was cr it's crazy. College football fans leave. Every time an upset happens, they storm the field. Everyone's happy. Everyone's having fun. It's not like the NFL. If you have someone who storms the field, they're most likely drunk as fuck. <laughs> That's what, if they storm the field, you have, you have mad people who's drunk fighting each other. But meanwhile, college football, everyone's college. Everyone's in, mainly everyone's in college. So it's like, it's mainly just kids around my age just having fun. Man, oh man. I still feel like Tennessee is still partying right now. I still I feel like they have not stopped the party yet. They've been partying probably ever since they won this game. But we're gonna we're gonna see the Yeah Pete, right? The goal ball at some point was on the field. Look where they ended up taking. They bro. They took it out of the stadium. They took the goalpost and went out of the stadium. Then, 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 right, 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 goes out of the stadium. Yeah, sure. After they take it out of the stadium. Uh, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is rock house football. This is fucking. They took the goalpost and left the stadium with it. Then proceeded to go onto the street. With the goalpost, mind you, that's the same goalpost I think that was to kick the game-winning field goal. They took it. Post. Imagine driving by that and they put it in the river.
This isn't, this isn't, this is real. They took the goalpost from the field and put it. They have to get a new goalpost because of that. I hope they don't. I hope they don't have a home game. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking next week, bro. If that's the case. You have to wait until they get a new goalpost. <laughs> but other than that, man, this is a prime example. This game was a prime example of why college football is the way it is, and why people love college football, and the reason why people put college football above the NFL. The vibe, the atmosphere, the intensity, and the game. It's every, like, how can I say this? Every college football game, they play it like it's their last college, college the last time they're ever going to play football. That's how they play it. See, the NFL, they make millions. They make millions, thousands of dollars. Like, they play this, it's like, shit, I got my money. I really don't care. For them, it's like, this is all they got. Is what they worked hard for. They gonna want to win, but don't be surprised if Bama's still ranked in the top five, no top six, possibly top ten after this loss. Don't be surprised. And again, Tennessee, Georgia would be a good battle. There's a couple other games that I could react to. Comment down below if I react to USC versus Utah because that was a that was a great game too. Um, yeah. But other than that, man, like, comment, subscribe, new to the channel. And comment down below. What do y'all think Bama is going to be ranked as? Or by the time this video is out, Bama, the polls is already out on who's ranked. Matter of fact, I'm going to check that. Where my phone? I'm going to check something. Hold on. The polls. Because it's around like, but the time of this recording is like 1230. So, let's see. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. The polls have not yet been released. So the polls have not yet been released yet. So by the time, so by the time the video is out, the polls should be released. And yeah, like I'm subscribed to the channel. I'm Blackboard TJ. I'm out. Peace.